Greetings, everyone. Well, tonight I just finished attending virtually the 2020 Visual Effects Society Award Show. Um, it was a little over a year ago that my wife Johanna and I went to Beverly Hills to go to what was our first Visual Effects Society Award Show. Um, we were hoping to go the next year, but uh, COVID. So I'm hoping to go in person next year, Beverly Hills. But this year was remote. So of course, this being the Visual Effects Society, you can imagine a virtual award show was still pretty entertaining and got fairly technical. I mean, it started off with Eric Roth uh, opening the show uh, and he, I think, may have been in a virtual production stage. Couldn't quite tell if there's an LED background there. But then, of course, the host who's been hosting for a lot of years, Patton Oswald, comes in as a real time rendered 3D monster. Um, it was quite entertaining, a good way to start off. And then towards the end, you could see he came out in his facial capture rig. So I can't wait to hear about who was actually behind setting up the technology for the uh, Patton Oswald uh, DigiPatton, we'll call it. Um, but there were some big winners tonight and there was some folks that were honored that definitely had it coming. So the big winners that came in with multiple awards was Pixar Soul, uh, ILM and Lucasfilms, The Mandalorian. Uh, Lovecraft Country came in as well as George Clooney's Midnight Sky. So some of the big award winners of the night were actually uh, Peter Jackson, who got his Visual Effects uh, Society Lifetime Achievement Award. Now, he received this award. And it was presented by Kate Blanchett, who was in Lord of the Rings. Um, of course, he had attributes by Andy Serkis, as well as Gollum, a rendered Gollum himself. Again, this crew gets to play around with some pretty heavy renders. So that was kind of fun to watch. Um, Naomi Watts, Elijah Wood, uh, Ian McLennan, a bunch of others uh, had paid tribute. So of course he was accepting from home uh, due to COVID. And so he had to point out that he wasn't wearing shoes and also wanted to point out how he makes the life of visual effects artists very hard. But the reality is the good directors challenge the artists. There's just no two ways about that. So another tribute was the VES Award for Creative Excellence that went to Rob Legato. Now, Rob Legato was most recently known for his work with The Lion King with John Favreau, which blurred the lines of visual effects and animation with this photo real, entirely computer generated world that The Lion King was. He also has a long history of visual effects. And the weird thing was, I guess Sasha Baron Cohen was the one who introduced him or, or, or presented the award to him. And I guess he was a second director in the recent second Borat movie. I don't really know whether they were joking about that, but uh, apparently that was the running gag was that he actually did some pickup shots. I, I was a little confused, but with the hey, I'm often confused. Um, so uh, congrats to Rob Legato and to Peter Jackson. So Pixar's soul came in with a handful of wins. So one of them was outstanding visual effects in an animated feature outstanding created environment in an animated feature and outstanding virtual cinematography in a CG project. Another big winner was Lucasfilm and ILM's Mandalorian, which was shot in the virtual production stage. You'll be seeing another video from me coming out right after this, talking in detail about virtual production. Uh, and uh, Mandalorian came in with outstanding visual effects in a photoreal episode, outstanding animated character in an episode or real-time project, and outstanding created environment in an episode, commercial, or real-time project. So kudos to the two of them. You know, the Disney ILM Marvel machine is just magnificent. And every year they're going to be taking a whole lot of awards. Um, we had some other sh uh, shows come in. Midnight Sky got outstanding visual effects in a photoreal feature and outstanding model in a photoreal or animated project. And Lovecraft Country came in with outstanding compositing in an episode and outstanding effects simulation in an episode commercial or real time project. I think one thing that was noticeable and a little different besides the fact that it was a virtual event was the fact that there were some big projects that were pushed off into next year. And this year saw, I think, a little more recognition of some smaller or secondary projects that might have been stepped over by all of those big machine, monster, massive comic books, 
spy, sci-fi special effects movies that tend to take all of the the attention away. Um, but it was nice to see there was a lot of folks that won. I'm going to go ahead and post the full list of who won in this uh, in, in the description below. So take a look at the and congratulations to everyone who won and to everyone who was nominated. Anyone knows that just getting nominated by this uh, committee and by this society is truly an honor. And uh, I saw a lot of friends up there getting awards and a lot of friends up there that were nominated and uh, the chat room was filled with friends uh, chatting and so i can't wait to do this next year with my wife in beverly hills we're gonna all go everyone needs to go get their shots everyone needs to wear their mask and we'll all be able to do this next year in person and have a drink come and grab me come and find me come and give me a hug it's gonna be great i'll see you all next year congrats to everybody who won and thank you to the visual effects society for putting on an awesome event Thank you.